everybody, welcome back to the Peebs channel. I am joined here by everyone in the chat on my Twitch stream. We are all celebrating me being old. <laughs> We're celebrating my 15th year anniversary on YouTube. Not on this channel, but on my original channel, Peanut Butter Gamer. I started in January 2009. Here's a screenshot of about 15 year old Peanut Butter Gamer. But to celebrate, we are playing a bunch of different games that I covered on those Peanut Butter Gamer videos over the years. A bunch of random ones, things you might not expect. And obviously some things you might expect. Let's go ahead and get started. We are playing first. Hey, you Pikachu. All right, this is bringing back some memories. This was actually one of my more popular videos. It might be like my most viewed video that isn't a hacking video, which is kind of funny. I mean, it's just a random video about Hey, you Pikachu. Hey, you Pikachu. Let's start a new game. It's morning, time to get up. Oh God, I forgot <laughs> this this freaking game. Oh my God, I'm back. I'm back and I'm not happy about it. Wake up, isn't Professor Oak's test today? Oh my God, we're gonna hang out with this old man in the forest. What could possibly go wrong? Don't forget the Poke Helper that Professor Oak sent. Honestly, do you ever talk to me? Or do I just like, am I being raised by Professor Oak? That's what it seems like when you play this game. What was your first first PPG video? Good question. I don't want to hear the answers to some of these. Ash's mom is so hot. Are we supposed to be Ash? I'm actually not even sure. Sure. Thanks for coming. This is the Viridian Forest Edge, where the wild Pokemon come to play. Me and my daughter collab in 15 years. Yeah, she needs to carry on the, the peanut butter gamer torch. Child, I have your entire life planned out for you. All right, here's your YouTube channel. Get started. I'm on vacation now. Get over here, you... <laughs> this is the entire game. It's just yelling at Pikachu. Pika. And him like vaguely responding. It looks like Pikachu still has a fi Oh my god. How stupid is he? Pikachu! Are you stupid? You little head, Get over here. <laughs> I don't think it even matters what you say. What is wrong with this guy? He noticed me! Get over here, you rat! I bet if, if Pokemon were real... I'm just throwing this out there. Pikachus would carry diseases. They would be vermin. You would get exterminators to come and kill them at your house. And you would be right to do it. Because not only would they probably carry diseases, they'd also electrocute your children. So it, being a Pikachu, like, exterminator would be a very profitable business. And, and they would be very necessary for society. It's not that we're happy about having to kill the Pikachu. We just have to. <laughs> it's for the safety of the children. Is it too early in the stream for me to, <laughs> for me to start cursing at Pikachu. Are we are we past 30 seconds in the video? Pika. So I can call Pikachu a Pika. without getting demonetized. Even though you connected with Pikachu, it's taking off. Oh, okay, cool. Whatever. I love it's a good game actually. Yeah, Pikachu doesn't want to play with you. So just go ahead and send the game back to the blockbuster. Did the test go well? No, I just screamed at a rat for like five minutes and then he told me to go home. Oh yeah, I forgot we do freaking quizzes on the N64. How is he talking to me on the N64? I used to watch Peanut Butter Gamer until he called Pikachu. Yeah, true. And he called for the extermination of all Pikachus as well. You know, honestly, I thought he was a good person, but when he called for the extermination of all Pikachu, that was a little far for me. Yesterday, he didn't want to talk to me. I come back today and he's sleeping. I paid money for this game, Pikachu. Hey, wake up. I paid money for you. Pikachu. <laughs> he's not happy. He's not happy about that. Now greet Pikachu. What's up, bitch? Pika. Hey, what up? Are you hungover from last night? That's what it looks like. Say a nice friendly greeting. I don't know how to do that. Hello, you little sh It worked. He liked it. Oh yeah, here's where Pikachu shows you what a ball is. And Professor Oak doesn't even know. It's like, what's that? It's <laughs> slow turnaround. This game could have been so good. Good thing there's a freaking barbed wire fence between me and Pikachu. I can't get over to him. Throw it. Pika. Oh God. <laughs> Freaking jump scare, dude. What the heck? PPG, would you play a Hey You Pikachu remake in today's technology? Oh, yeah, totally. That would be fun. It'd be fun in the way that playing this is fun and that it wouldn't be fun. But, you know, not having fun is fun, right? To me, it is. To me, being miserable is kind of fun, right? This is thrilling. <laughs> Try asking it, what's up there? What's up there? I, I don't know. Why did I ask him that anyway? Is that what it was? Oh, you know what it meant, right? What? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. An apple! Hell yeah! Can I go home now? He's just sh shy. No, I, you're not coming home with me. That's not what I meant. Okay, God, wow. What a thrilling day with Pikachu. Can you see why I loved this game so much as a kid? Go away. Go away. Pikachu. Fuck you. Pikachu. <laughs> Bye. I'm coming back with the exterminator tomorrow. Go away. Pikachu. No, 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 no. Don't come back. Pikachu. No. Go 
Oh my, he still sees me. Oh my, he's, he won't go. Okay, he's finally leaving. No, go away, <laughs> please. Type in your name or pick one if you dare. <laughs> then... This sound is weird. You what? It seems kind of weird. It's like running slow or something. It's Kevin McAllister. Yeah, every time I hear a voice slow down like that, I also think of Home Alone. This is Peter McAllister, the father. Yeah, it's definitely not running, working right. What is the? What's what's happening? It's like playing at forty percent speed. Enter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I'm good. Is this? Is, oh, do. Oh god, he just jumped in real quick. I'm scared. I'm gonna have to redo the bit at the beginning of the Good Will Games video. <laughs> You've entered the house. Yeah, we 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 messed up. I actually can I I wanna leave. Oh! Okay, so yeah, this was one of the earlier videos I did. This is, uh, as I mentioned earlier, probably my favorite Super Nintendo game. Strange as that might be. Okay, so obviously this is a very, very complicated game. Bart Simpson doing his homework and falls asleep. A lot of people think that this game sucks, but I genuinely think that it is good. It's just very cryptic. It's one of the more cryptic games I've ever played. Oh my god! <laughs> that was close. Oh shoot! Dude, this one is hard. Oh, oh. So we don't want to fall into hell. That's what you don't want to do. Oh god. Oh, ma imagine playing this, renting this from Blockbuster for the first time as a kid, trying to figure out what the heck to do. Okay, so you have to make sure Maggie shoots her little missile. If you see a pillar that has like fire around it, then you'll die if you jump on it. So you have to be careful. Okay, we're actually doing pretty good. No, why did I go for that? I'm so greedy. Yeah, this is one of the earlier videos. It's It has a lot of those early 2010 YouTuber vibes. Like, oh no, I have to play the Bart Simpson game. Oh no, what will happen if I don't play? Uh, yeah, you know, yeah, one of those things. Like, I don't think I had like a evil twin or something that made me play it, but it was it was pretty close to that kind of thing. People make fun of that, <laughs> that old antiquated YouTube style. I genuinely like that old style of video though. It's nostalgic to me. Okay, oh my God. Oh, we made it. Okay, I think I'm gonna get at least this page. But yeah, the whole point of this game is to try to get, oh, collect all your pages in the dream and your score at the end is based on uh, how well you do. Probably not the best game to be playing for very long in this stream because I'm having a hard time even focusing on uh... Dude, this game is so good. <laughs> I can play this all day. I think I got an A, but oh my. Wow. Castles are so cool. They are oh, cool. No. I was just thinking the Dad, same thing. Can we get cotton candy at the beach? There's no cotton candy at the beach, DW. Wow, look at that. A sandcastle contest. <gasps> Dad, can I enter? We were just talking about how cool sandcastles were. That sounds like fun, Arthur. But you'll never win. Dude, is this an actual scene from the cartoon show, Arthur, on PBS Kids TV? Is this an actual scene? This is amazing. I thought that said Arthur real. <laughs> you expect us to win with these? You expect us to win with these things that you use to make sandcastles with? Brain, this is just a broken... How does she even know Brain's name? Do they hang yes. out? Yes, but I can configure it to make the most amazing castle bricks you've ever seen. Guys, don't don't worry, Brain can configure it. This may look like a pile of trash to you guys, but Brain is smart. He's a nerd, so he can configure it. I can't decide if this is the worst of the Arthur games. I think Arthur's pet chase might be worse. It's also longer. So you're like stuck in, in Arthur's pet chase hell for like three days trying to beat it. At least this game is shorter, I think. What's with dad's glasses? What the hell? He's trying to be cool. Bye. Stay close enough for us to call you, Arthur. This game is a masterpiece, dude. All right, so I think we can go over here, we can go over here, we can go over here. Let's go over here first. You're a good digger, pal. Can you help me dig? <laughs> Dodge the trash. He's going so fast. I don't remember going this fast when I played it before. Oh, God, no. Hell, be careful. <laughs> dude, when I did this the first time, I was playing for real, but then it was taking too long to collect all the sand. So I just stood in the same spot. I just left the room and I came back and I had like eight, 18 buckets of sand. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, pal, be careful! There's a freaking frisbee going by. Oh, no! No! Arthur, you better watch oh. out. Pal's digging a little faster. Dude, this is harder than I remember it. Those crabs hurt. And I lost a 
all the sand. You know, Arthur, you could just get on, on the ground and like dig some sand into the bucket. Throw some sand, pal. Throw sand. Oh, Not. I, I forgot I picked hard mode. That's why it's so much harder. <laughs> oh no, I forgot my sandals and this sand is really hot. I have to get to the water fast or my feet are going to burn up. And he says that while he's just standing there. <sighs> It's good to cool off. It is. Hey, flippers. These will help keep my feet cool. <laughs> he just stole somebody's flippers. Good. Dude, somebody has french fries over there. I want to steal these people's french fries. Oh, yeah. Fries. More energy. Yeah, when I think energy, I think french fries. Yikes. These crabs are making me crabby. Dude, this is actually kind of hard. Why did I pick hard mode? I can't handle oh. this. I'm cracking under the pressure. Hi, Dougie. Hi, Dougie. Dougie. <laughs> yeah. What? This is impossible. This game sucks. I love these old games where you hover over the faces and they're like, yeah, no, I want to stop. It's Buddy. I forgot you have like a magic wand in this game. I love just like cutting every, every cutscene. It's like they just oh. cut to one of the characters and they're like, <laughs> That's like every cutscene. Oh, so yeah, I forgot. You're actually like sailing around on this ship to go to all these different islands. It's basically Wind Waker. This is the Sims Wind Waker. That's what this is. This is the Wind Waker at home. <laughs> all the Sims and all the lands were ruled by a kind and wise king. Me, King Roland. Trust me. Everybody loves the king. I ordered my wizard to make a collection of magic scepters. Dude, one scepter to rule them all. Dude, the king is creating Nazgul. Nazgul Sims. Holy sh**. They are going to be corrupted by the special wands. Parts of my kingdom are not falling to despair. This lady just wants to go across the street. Her little baby's on the other side of the bridge. But the bridge is broken and she can't cross. Oh, God. Her baby's going to starve to death. But today is a very special day. I, King Roland, will be naming a new wonderland. Why did it take him this long? This motherfucker waited like years he waited for his kingdom to get into disrepair and all he had to do was just like pick a new wandalier guy why did you wait that long he's senile dude all of these ancient senile people like leading the leading our country what is happening to the world grandpa forgot to pick a new wandy guy he just forgot am i the only one that does this you go to the character creator and you randomize so fast and then like oh wait no no that was a good one but i just did it so quickly i didn't even she's actually kind of cute oh my god her nose was ripped off in an epic battle so she actually has no nose anymore. That's, they just put a band-aid there to cover it. You can't have everything. <laughs> what should we name her? Peter Griffin. I'm laughing so hard I can't even type it. Dude, it's Princess Butter Gamer. I think that's what I called her. There's Buddy. I remember him. Falls over a lot. That's kind of his thing. And then there's me, the poor peasant girl, Peter Griffin, who just sweeps for all eternity. <laughs> this is her lot in life. I'm just going to relax and water my lawn for the next week or two. <laughs> Pig herder. Our name is Peta Griffin. Thank you very much. Look at me when I'm talking. I'm looking. Oh, this b dude. God. Quit daydreaming and lead my pigs back to the farm right now. <laughs> The pig fell over and he's farting. Oh my god. When I get the wandy thing, Avada Kedabra. <laughs> That's my first spell, and then I'm out of here. The piggies are cute, though. I like the piggies. It's not their fault that this lady is a bitch. Pet? I can pet them? Oh, my God. Post it on that, the Twitter account. You can pet the pig. Oh, you can. I don't remember petting them. How cute. I'm getting, I'm getting like, piggy points. I'm getting piggy points, dude. I need you to sweep all the mud. Oh, my God. We're just, like, in pivot drive or whatever. Okay, I'm confused with the, like, what aesthetic is this game going for? Are we going for, like, a Harry Potter thing? Like, oh, I, I'm, I'm like, oh, I don't know that I'm a wizard yet, and I'm treated poorly. Are we going for a medieval thing? Oh, there's a castle and a king. Or, or are we going for whatever Buddy is? He's like, works at a hotel. What are the vibes we're going for? I'm confused. Oh my god, classic, he fell over. Oh my god. I, that's my favorite part about that, though. He falls over and it's just like, oh, not this guy, dude. This game was my childhood. <laughs> it wasn't what I wanted it to be. When I was like 19, 20 years old, they're like, oh, it's like Animal Crossing meets The Sims. That's like my dream game. And then I played it and I was like, I was lied to. I was lied to. Yeah! That was back when, like, every game that came out, like, that was mildly cutesy looking, they're like, it's like Animal Crossing, guys. It's like Animal Crossing. Couldn't tell you how many times they list a game in, like, the gaming media back in the day. It's like Animal Crossing, and it's like Katamari Damacy or something. It's like, oh, yeah, it's just like Animal Crossing, dude. Tomodachi, like, it's just like Animal Crossing. They literally say that in every review. No, it isn't. And eventually, I just decided if there's a game, and they're like, it's just like Animal Crossing. I'm like, don't play it. It's not gonna be good. Hi, Princess Butter. Yeah, it's Princess Butter Game. Hello, peasants. I think we all know I'm going to be named the new one today. Oh, yeah, she's she's trying to get it. Dude, that's nepotism, though. Of course, silly. I'm the princess. Daddy will just let me win. Oh, my God. The corruption. Can I jump? I guess I can. 
Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> Whee! We're gaming now, dude. Oh yeah, I forgot about Lindsay. She's the one that doesn't fall over. I made up today's adventure itinerary and everything. She's Hermione! Dude, she's Hermione and that's Ron. That's what's happening right now. I am kind of starting to remember why I hated this game. <laughs> I freaking love this game. And by love this game, I mean this game <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> How do you even play this game again? Let's go into the bathroom. Why is he not talking about his monster headache? Boy, my head hurts. Talk about your monster headache. He's not saying it. Take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think he might have a headache. He's not saying it the line though. I thought he was supposed to say it like every two seconds. He's saying it in the text, but he's not saying it out loud. Check out this jacket. I wouldn't want to wear such a heavy old coat. Well, then why do you own it, Mike? You dork. The sheets are blanketed with dust. And well, then clean them, Mike. This guy's such a doofus. This character really is hilarious. He's one of the funniest parts about these two games. Mike Dawson is just a total dork. We gotta take this, this Advil to help him with his headache. I thought I remembered him saying like out loud, I have a monster headache, like constantly, nonstop. But for some reason, he wasn't doing it. This game is a humongous pain in the ass, but it's worth playing or at least watching someone else play just for how hilarious Mike Dawson is and the cutscenes and stuff. I want to see. I got to find some like people in the town or something. So yeah, it starts with you getting an alien inserted into your brain. That was totally just a dream though. Don't worry. It's fine. These leather bound books remind me of my book collection still in storage. That's kind of unsettling. Everything is unsettling to Mike. Well, wow, there's books here. That's a little unsettling. There's dust on this bed. I'm currently unsettled right now. I'm I'm me I'm mega unsettled for real for real right now. Girl, what the fuck is you talking about? Oh, the doorbell. Oh, we got a visitor. Hello, Mr. Packageman. Oh, it's a baby. Ah, it's a baby. This isn't unsettling, no. This is nice. This town looks unnaturally quiet. This town is so unsettling. <laughs> What's in the police station? Dude, I gotta play all the way through this in October. It's been way too long. Dude, look, a gun. A gun and a holster. I'm pretty sure if you don't steal this gun, you lose. Yeah, gun settling. <laughs> There's nothing inside. <gasps> There's nothing inside. That's so unsettling. What a quaint general store with a little bit of everything for day-to-day -day existence. Shoot him, you're right. I can shoot him. Gun. Holding gun. <laughs> <laughs> holding gun. Oh my god. Why is that line so hilarious? Currently holding gun. Mike, dude, he's walking in with a gun. This is a <gasps> sick up. Holding gun. Use gun. I don't have any bullets. <laughs> he was, he was, he was gonna use it. He was actually would have done it. The only problem is he doesn't have any bullets. I would shoot him, but I don't have any bullets. Aw, oh, damn. Well, wait, can we buy any here? Can we buy any bullets? I don't remember how to shop. You can buy stuff here, right? I can, oh, I can only buy this. I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Dawson, but... You'll have to pay for that. I mean, I have a gun. Aren't you threatened? This game is just a comedy. It is it's so funny. It's even more funny because the actual game is such a pain in the ass. Like, if you don't know how to beat this game, you'll be playing it for like your whole life trying to figure it out. An old library. A venerable repository of knowledge. It guards its bounty behind a handsomely decorated structure. Mike, it's just a f***ing library. Calm down. Okay, here's, look at this. Do you guys see anything in this room? Don't say it if you already know. There's something in this room you have to do or you lose the game. Does it, can anyone take any guess? What? What is it? If you say what it is, then you already know. Hole in the floor? I'm not sure if you knew this or not. Yeah, it's not a hole though. We picked up a bobby pin. If you don't pick up that bobby pin, you are f***. If you don't pick up that bobby pin, you get stuck in jail and, and you end up dying in jail because you can't get out. I'm pretty sure. How was I supposed to know? There's places in this game that are totally pointless. Like that barber shop does nothing. That button, you do nothing in that barber shop ever. But if you don't pick up that bobby pin, you are f dude. That You're gonna talk to me? That would be very impolite. The sort of thing your former co worker Larry would have tried to do. To poke in the lake. I was trying to talk to her, Mike. Sicko. She's an extremely beautiful woman doesn't seem to notice me staring at her. No, Mike, she's pretending that you're not there because she can tell how big of a creep you are. Hi, I'm Mia. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking. Yeah, that was a good one. Oh, my God. Disturbing things happen to the poop spider all the time. Dude, I remember this being scary. Get ready for this. <gasps> Mia! <laughs> she died. <laughs> Remain calm, Mia! Mia, don't panic! Everything's on fire! We're all gonna die! Remain calm! Dude, I wish these guys died. I wish these guys burned to death. It doesn't show them get away. It actually doesn't show them get out. <laughs> this is the start of a children's game, by the way. Oh, no! No! The house! 
Oh, I'm so sad. If only we could go back in time and prevent the fire. <laughs> totally normal thing to say. It would be great if we had a time machine, but that's impossible. Nothing's huh? impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Give the stone to me. I'll throw it myself. Well, then why did you? Okay, whatever. <laughs> she died. All right, now we finally have the game everybody wanted to see. The most popular game I've ever covered on the channel. Play with the Teletubbies. Yeah. Time for Teletubbies. Time for Teletubbies. Time for Teletubbies. Raise the roof. Dude, why is Poe so small? <laughs> I'm starting to regret this. <laughs> All right, they're there. They're off now. They're off. Again, again. <laughs> again, again. Oh my God. That's all I wanted to hear. 